morning to all of you i welcome for the fifth day series of forensic uh, odontology lectures organized by department of oral medicine and radiology tirthankar mahavir dental college and research center of tirthankar mahavir university in association with indo pacific academy of forensic odontology and association of forensic odontology of human rights it gives me immense pleasure to welcome our eminent uh, speaker for today's lecture dr ranjit singh he is an adjunct professional with more than 12 years of an experience in the field of forensic science he has a vast knowledge and experience in his area of expertise and is especially competent and sought after for his fingerprints and question documents expertise he is a founder and md of safc india private limited he is own is one of the very few private companies providing forensic sciences services he has completed his msc degree from delhi university and later completed his phd scholar under the guidance and mentorship of renowned anthropologist professor mp sachadeva from university of delhi he is also qualified with the ch chfi from uc council to his credit he has published many articles in both international and national journals and articles as well as the books he has also provided with the numerous legal report for <clears throat> honorable court delhi police up police nic esic ncb and many other government organizations and the law enforcement agencies he has been into the arena of forensic since 2005 till date with the same positivity he has been given his expertise opinion in about more than 3000 cases his contribution and work experience is not limited within the nation and he is also visited and delivered lectures in the department of chemistry in the university of college of cork ireland and trinity college he always worked with honesty and ethics having full enthusiasm and energy he is heavily involved with the forensic investigations forensic training and forensic education he has made himself available to conduct the dvi workshops to share his knowledge experience expertise with all these participants here i welcome once again our eminent speaker dr ranjit singh to <coughs> deliver a lecture on for facial identification through somatometry and somatoscopy uh, thank you uh, dr sunil and dr neeraj sir and other member who given me opportunity to speak on the topic and uh, Uh, related to the forensic science uh, related to the forensic uh, anthropology and uh, forensic uh, uh, dentistry so my topic is basically on the basis of uh, on the uh, related to somatometry and the somatoscopy so uh, but uh, i'm just limited to the photograph identification so i'm just giving it this definition narrowing down to the photo anthropometry and the photo anthroscopy so uh, how we work in our laboratory first we do the preparation of the case what actually we require then we do the research on the case what parameters can be uh, used for the identification or the examination and the analysis then we use the imaging part and then we do the analysis and then expert analysis and after that we give the examination report and then we uh, go to the court of law for the documentation and the appearance uh, as a expert and give our expert opinion into the court of law so there is a whole process we follow in our laboratory okay. one second i am facing a problem okay yeah so uh i'm just uh, discussing about the uh, photo anthropometry uh, means identification of individual on their unique features so you can see there are uh, hundred uh, many of the stones and they all are unique in their shape in their size in their structure and similarly you can see the it's not a retina it's a leaf so leaf they have their different veins which is unique in their structure accordingly a human being also having a different kind of a structure and they have the unique features so this unique feature identification or this analysis is done on the basis of uh, parameters and that parameter that principles and that principles are basically in a four kind uh, principle of comparison principle of probability principle of analysis and principle of circumstantial fact 
like principle of comparison like should be compared with the like a male photograph can be compared with only with the male not with the female so and the probability the age gap or the photograph quality of the photograph or the pixel size or the photograph captured from the cctv so a probability is always there for the elimination and the consciously or the unconsciously and on the basis of probability we reach to the conclusion either this a person a person is uh, same or the different person and the uh, uh, standard procedure for the analysis which is set by the different organizations and different authority and the circumstantial fact like the uh, fact uh, uh, like uh, yesterday uh, dr him that discussed one case that uh, person was uh, not living but a uh, family member means a child or in a assumption that uh, father is living and he is sending the money so the circumstantial fact is also very very important for uh, any case processing so as we know by definition uh, somatometry and the somatoscopy two different things and uh, in this two so here uh, somatometry and somatoscopy somatoscopy is defined as systematic technique to measure, measure a living body including head or faces and on the photograph it is uh, known as uh, so uh, photo uh, uh, it's uh, known as uh, photo anthropometry and for uh, somatoscopy uh, morphological characteristics of the human kind on the basis of visual like uh, portrait parlay when we uh, make or when we ask for the sketch so what kind of features a person can explain about a person a uh, individual who has uh, seen so this is called a uh, photo anthroscopy and on this basis what problem we are basically facing during the examination uh, number one the problem is that establishing the identity of an unknown face that uh, we do not know the who the individual because case is distorted even in the cases of dvi sometimes the faces are very distorted so on the basis of photo facial feature it is very tough to give any conclusive opinion that who is the person and who is not the person then uh, recognition and authentication of person in a real photo document like a photograph or present on the passport mark sheet driving license or any identification national id card or uh, uh, aadhar card so any other features where the photograph is completely different in the uh, in the real sense which is uh, which is present on the other records like the our photograph on the facebook or the social media is completely different than the what photograph we actually carry in our uh, admitted documents like the driving license aadhar or the mark sheet then comparison of facial photos is different uh, document and uh, different persons examination of alleged alteration intermixing digital morphing digital morphing nowadays is uh, on a very high mode so digital morphing is the one problem and differentiation of real and the created photographs so for that we use the digital forensic and in digital forensic we use the photo uh, image processing either the uh, photograph has been morphed or not either some uh, characteristics of the faces has been uh, morphed or created like a change in the eyes change in the forehead or any other changes so that we uh, do in a examination uh, that is a one problem we are facing so type of cases where we receive a photograph as for the examination for the personal identification so these cases are death claim either a human or a non human death claim will disputed will where the photograph of the individual it's uh, someone said that photograph is uh, clicked into into the uh, like uh, authority in front of the authority but the document showing it is not a click in the authority the background and other things property registration marriage disputes uh, like recently i received one case that uh, Uh, there was a marriage certificate but uh, uh, lady said that uh, she has not married the person and person sent that certificate for the identification of the photographs and verification and matching with the available database with uh, the person then examination and recruitment uh, like the uh, impersonation cases where someone go for the examination but other appear for uh, joining uh, and mms pornography cases immigration uh, modeling cases in a modeling cases of photograph identification is also very important and that is on the form of digital and we do the analysis of the metadata also apart from the uh, that uh, matching features uh, like uh, modeling in a modeling uh, there are many website who uh, take a photograph from the freelance photographers and that freelance photographers they can submit their photographs uh, to the portal and for that they are getting some payment as per the uh, term and condition of the website they have to pay something for the model but they are not paying that amount to the model 
and then model uh, uh, are claiming that how you can use my photographs uh, they may be a villager they may be uh, anyone they cannot be any uh, it's not necessary that they always should be a model which is working into the film industry or the advertisement industry or the dvc so a model can be anyone and that photograph dispute is also coming for in our laboratory for the examination criminal investigation also we are receiving from the photograph which is captured from the cctv like in a cases of atm robbery in the cases of murder in a cases of hit and run so we are developing the photograph with the tools and pet five and other and by that we are uh, doing the matching of the individual photographs and facial uh, features so uh the challenge is uh, for a investigator is that we are receiving a photograph in a very poor quality and the poor quality like you can see this photograph so uh, for the photo facial match, uh, matching we require to uh, match some anthropometric parameters and that anthropometric parameters like a landmarks here we cannot mark so that is a challenge and uh, this kind of cases are always uh, uh, very tough to identify either all these humans are uh, all these uh, person is same or not so for the death claim a uh, photograph which is present on the policy or the application form is comparatively different with the photographs they submitted after the death of the individual so uh, apart from the human we are uh, in india uh, there is uh, maybe in other country also so there is a cattle insurance claim and that leads to a very high uh, amount of the frauds and sometime uh, we re- sometime uh, we are receiving um, uh, cases for the cattle identification either all these cattle are same or not so it's again it's a very uh, tough job to identify either because in a human we have the landmarks and by that landmarks or the set authority set uh, few parameters that uh, by that way we can identify the individuals either they are the having the same indices or not but in cases of cattle it is very tough to identify so this is a case where uh, we receive a two photograph uh, from a will and a person said that uh, this is a photograph present on the will and the both person are not the same person and you can see the quality of the photograph is very very poor and on this basis it's very tough to identify but when we do the digital forensic on this photograph because sometime you know uh, as per the local exchange principle so some error they leave so uh, some traces they leave and by that traces when we uh, like start cropping that photograph we find the full photograph and uh, due to the low uh, low pixels poor quality and landmarks are not clearly visible we cannot give any opinion on this but yes we given a photograph uh, we developed this photograph from the document present and we can see the two pan card is available and two pan card with the same name with a different spelling mistakes it means there is some chances of forgery a actual individual is not involved for such kind of will uh, like the uh, execution of the will so some kind of forgery is available so we have to use uh, different parameters apart from the set parameters for during the investigation so uh, mms uh, cases in mma cases uh, this is a famous case of the india uh, is a face which look a uh, similar of the miss jammu i think uh, nara gupta uh, but when the forensic uh, laboratory they examine i think uh, cfsl chandigarh they examine and they came to the conclusion that uh, both photographs are not uh, of the same individual challenges which we are uh, facing and uh, during the examination that a capturing device when we go for the metadata of the any digital photograph we do not have the database of the database of the capturing device age progression twin faces face swapping through the different tools similar versus same we always uh, some similar and some uh, same uh, cases filters nowadays uh, we are using a filters uh, we all when we uh, post our photograph on instagram or the facebook we use the different kind of filters inbuilt filter and third party app filter also we are using then 10 year challenge 10 year challenge uh, you must have read that a uh, 10 year challenge was run by the facebook on a facebook uh, to collect the database of the individual to make some artificial intelligence tools which uh, which is used which can be used for the uh, facial recognition and the face app photograph so uh, in a face app photograph we are receiving that someone has uh, given a photograph of the early age Uh, on application form and uh, predict that his age is 46 year and he is getting a benefit of the policy and by that getting a that benefit on the policy he is able to uh, 
get uh, more advantage and uh, they are using a face app so uh, accidental cases artificial tattooing secondary identifier like mole jewelry ear piercing and uh, if uh, some moles or jewelry is present or mole is present and uh, by the some led uh, uh, treatments they remove that moles so it's very tough for the uh, rely on the secondary identifier all the secondary identifiers sometimes play a very important role so the photofacial treatment like uh, light emitting diodes like led treatments and make up a photograph usually which we receive in a marriage dispute a photograph used in a uh, in a marriage dispute we receive a photograph which is used uh, with a full makeup and a surgery photograph uh, individual who done uh, uh, surgery plastic surgery or accidental uh, any deformities into face due to the accidental so these are the challenges like uh, this is a one case of the uh, famous actress rekha so here you can see the led treatments of the removal of the uh, uh, moles and uh, use of the moles uh, so this is the one or uh, if just we rely on the secondary identifier we cannot reach to any conclusion that this sec secondary identifier is useful or not either it is uh, uh, can be considered for the admissible evidence or not age progression uh, with his permission he is a uh, like a um, uh, reporter of the news 24 i use his photograph so you can see uh, here the uh, his photograph of the age of 8 year and then the 24 year and now he is around 40 years so you can see the changes into the photograph so this age progression is also because once they purchase any policy or they execute some document will or other things and a claimant came after 50 year or after 30 years so we are facing a issue uh, of the age progression that how we can reach to the conclusion either the same person is involved or not but yes there are something parameter i'll discuss in the later slide you can see the symmetry asymmetry into the nose you can see the asymmetry into the eyebrow hair style you can see the hair style from the age of Uh, seven eight year to the twenty three year is a similar. So some in some places it is very uh, much possible, but in some cases it is not possible to reach to the conclusion. So here you can see uh, anyone can identify. Anyone can raise a hand. Anyone can raise a hand who can identify who is he. Uh, Harman, you have attended the lecture, so I am not allowing you. uh jafar sir okay yes sir. it is you it is you uh wrong sir it is not me <laughs> anyone else palas yes amir khan no it is not amir khan anyone else okay so uh, see the how age progression is uh, uh, i'm just trying to make some uh, this uh, as a interactive also so uh, he is a, a famous uh, government question document examiner mohinder singh verma and this photograph is of his age i think 6th uh, year or 7th year and uh, after uh, with his permission we received from some photographs so you can see a uh, age progression changes when he was a 13 or 14 year and you can see when he uh, started to going uh, after the college pass 17 year and then in a college you can see the features asymmetry you can see you can see the uh, eyeballs you can see the hair style how it is moving then when he passed the college then again when he joined the gqd uh, similar then again uh, he he different hair style so uh, can we identify the photograph with the, uh, this photograph and this photograph it is very difficult during the age progression so you can see the uh, different ages and uh, we collected a photograph of is present now many of you can identify he looks uh, as he looks now so this is uh, his last year photograph so uh, age progression is very very important to understand but when we go for the indices measurement and we go for the anthropometric indices uh, calculations so definitely we reach to some conclusion and but yes this is not 100% but based on some probability and the uh, how the photograph has been taken how we have uh, received the photograph so this is a, another you can see the uh, face app which we are using Do, uh, through the face app you can see the different uh, progression of the ages ah uh, again again i'm just giving the task uh, uh, can anyone identify either these photograph or same or not can anyone identify apart from the actual person 
Sajasi is also uh, into the power lecture. No one? Okay. So, uh, Poonam, uh, yes. It's the same. It's the same? Okay. Uh, Ujjwal, uh, you have already attended, I think. Uh, yes. It's the same. Okay. So, uh, okay, Varsha. Varsha. Same. Same? Yes, sir. Okay, Harman. Not same, sir. Okay. Uh, Vaishnavi? Not same. Uh, it's the same. Okay. Uh, in a prima facie, it looks that both are the same. But actually, they are not the same. Uh, I think Seja is also in the session. So first uh, photograph is the Seja. And second photograph is uh, some other girl, random girl who is sitting in the metro. And one of our office colleague, he clicked that Seja man was is looking like a Seja man. So uh, when we do uh, like uh, did the comparison, uh, prima facie is look the same, but actually it is not the same. So uh, on that basis, uh, we reach to the conclusion that this is not the same. And you can see that there are different uh, things like eyebrow is similar, nose is similar, uh, apart from some thickness into the tissue. But uh, actually, when we uh, did the measurement, they are not the, uh, they both are the different uh, girl. Both are the different girl. Twin faces. Many of you know, they are the expert in a question document and twin. And uh, this is a famous uh, couple, Sarma So, Chinky and Pinky, Minky. So uh, we are facing a problem in the identification of twin faces also once we do the anthropophotometry. So similarly, and uh, if you find uh, some kind of uh, this, these kind of photographs, uh, which is very identical, then it's very tough to identify and give any opinion. Uh, face at uh, age progression, many people are taking uh, advantage into the policy about the face app and uh, uh, face swapping also. So uh, there are many uh, tools which is available uh, for the face swapping and by this face swapping, they are uh, just swapping the face. And recently, I think uh, yesterday I heard uh, that uh, one song of the uh, movie Karan Johar, they just face swap of the Rishi Kapoor. So uh, the face swapping is very, very, uh, uh, very, very tough to identify and what level of the editing they have done into the video or into the photograph. So that is a one uh, difficulty. And this is a memes you all have uh, uh, read that uh, LHS versus RSS. So how you can, uh, how it's difficult to identify an individual. So, and uh, uh, all of you know uh, uh, him, and uh, you can see a similarity between uh, two person. So uh, as they both are the famous, so no one is having any doubt either they are matching or not. But once you compare with the anthropometric parameters, it's very difficult to uh, uh, reach to a final conclusion. Apart from the uh, anthropometry is not working very much on this parameter uh, in this photograph, but yet anthroscopy is working a lot in this photograph. You can see the asymmetry into the both uh, uh, nose part and the eye part and the lip part. So anthroscopy uh, is more uh, like uh, giving a uh, more result than the anthropometry. And uh, here you all see, uh, you can see, you all have uh, seen that, uh, uh, like uh, you must have uh, all have seen that uh, dentist part. So why dentistry is important in, into the photograph to identify an individual on the basis, basis of dental parameters. So because first our uh, impression goes to the smile uh, and you can see that even the eyebrow is missing, but many of you have not noticed that eyebrow is uh, missing. But uh, you can see here, uh, there is full eyebrow is missing. But uh, our first focus is on the dental part. So that's why dentistry is very, very important uh, uh, to take for the photofacial recognition also. And for that, uh, Professor Emilio has developed one applications uh, that uh, uh, you can upload your uh, uh, photograph, your uh, selfie uh, with your country name and the name. So he is creating a database. Better he will uh, explain tomorrow uh, about uh, that uh, software. So. In a facial component, what are parameters we are taking for the standard procedures? And this standard procedure was set by the Facial Identification Scientific Working Group. So Facial Identification Scientific Working Group, they, are, they have set several parameters for the identification, like uh, skin, face, head composition, forehead, eyes, nose, mouth, neck, facial line, facial mark, face head, face uh, head outline, hair, 
eyebrow, cheeks, ears, chin, jawline, facial hairs, scars, alterations. So one by one, like uh, I'm just going to uh, do in a faster way. So you can see the skin, there are uh, overall textures, different kind of uh, luminescence in the color, but it is uh, very tough to identify in the photograph because uh, of the treatment through the digital media, through the filters and through the Photoshop and, and also the paper on which uh, we are uh, printing the photographs. It's uh, very, very important to uh, understand the quality of the uh, photograph and the uh, GSM value on which paper they are uh, printing the photograph. Uh, face and head outlines uh, uh, is important uh, and uh, uh, composition, these are the characteristics, these are the measurement uh, during the uh, traditional uh, ideal uh, facial proportions where uh, you can see the A, B, C uh, which is divided into the different part and uh, by that measurement we reach to the conclusion either this photograph is uh, of the one individual or not. And not on, on only one parameter but considering all the 18 parameters a uh, conclusive opinion come or the some uh, opinion come that either uh, this is a probability of the high probability because our opinion nine degree opinion you must have read about the nine degree opinion so uh, which degree we are going to uh, give the opinion is depend upon the uh, what uh, kind of uh, photograph available with us so here is another important hair style hair shape hair texture symmetry uh, dentist uh, density of the hair and the uh, uh, peak of the hair forehead uh, lines like here uh, line right side and the left side also cranial baldness uh, pattern. So uh, these are the parameters also once we receive a photograph of the individual who uh, showing such kind of parameter. So this is the another parameter. Then forehead is another parameter. Forehead set and the brow ridges. Eyebrow uh, is another parameter which is uh, taken for the examination uh, during the examination and the eyes. Uh, like uh, intercanthal distance, interpupillary distance, right eye fissures openings, right eye uh, and up, uh, right upper eyelids and left upper eyelids, either they are in a symmetrical manner and what are the asymmetry present. So uh, these are parameters uh, which is uh, defined by the several anthropologists, several anthropometry books. So chicks is another, these are the uh, taken by the uh, uh, like the facial identification scientific working group. So these are parameters was followed by the facial and scientific working group and they given up uh, this protocols. I'll uh, email you everyone uh, that uh, uh, photograph also uh, that manual also so that you can read in a detail about the manual and how uh, the forensic identification scientific working group is working for the facial identification. So nose is a, another important uh, characteristics like uh, nose outline, nose root nose, uh, nasal uh, body, nasal tip, nasal base, nasal uh, like uh, nostril and uh, columella. So different other things uh, 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 we have. So uh, in this, uh, if the photograph is of the side, uh, then nasal body, measurement of the nasal body, nasal tip. So during, uh, for doing the measurement, we are using a tool for get, uh, getting an actual angle and actual uh, measurement. And for that, we are using a dizimizer. Dizimizer is a tool which is uh, used for the measurement on the photographs and by uh, it is giving an actual proportion photographs and giving the actual parameters and we can set into the pixel, we can set into the different millimeter units. Here is another component which is uh, uh, important and you can see the asymmetry into the uh, ear and uh, other parameters like here, uh, ear helix, ear uh, tubercles. So these are the parameters which is used also during the examination. Mouse shape. Uh, overall mouth, upper lip, lower lip, uh, these are the another parameters. Chin and jaw lines uh, and the gonial angles, uh, neck, overall uh, neck and the uh, uh, different kind of uh, shapes of the neck, width, height and the prominence uh, we took during the examination. Everything is depend upon the how the photographs, uh, how like the clear the photographs is available and what all parameters is uh, uh, seeing in, uh, we can see into the photograph. So facial hairs, and uh, uh, this is another uh, uh, like uh, facial hair uh, uh, of the upper lip and the lower lip, and it's uh, sometimes uh, important leads uh, once we do the facial recognition where the full photograph is not available. Then facial lines, these are the different uh, lines. Uh, you'll get the detail into the manual. I'll share the manual on the email. So uh, a manual of the forensic identification, uh, uh, like facial identification scientific working group. 
so scar marks and the facial marks so attrition components uh, piercing makeup uh, tattoo uh, like uh, uh, if there is different tattoo available on a face or a, uh, on a neck or other parts so that play sometimes a very important role for identification of an individual on the basis of their facial features so what actually we require for uh, uh, reaching to a reliable result for a photo anthropometry so for reaching a reliable conclusion we require a sufficient resolution and focus to resolve features and landmark of interest whatever the landmarks i'll show you one table where we have uh, mentioned all the landmark so a minimal uh, compression uh, of the photograph is required a uh, minimal distortion is required a uh, same viewpoint same lighting source a uh, known focal length and it is very tough to get the known focal length because uh, uh if we are getting a photograph with a digital uh, format then definitely we can uh, see through the metadata what are the focal length of the particular photograph lens distortion subject uh, hair uh, subject uh, distances angle known to the head tilt same aspect ratio same pose short time interval between the photograph means uh, in a age progression is so uh, very tough to uh, reach to a final conclusion if the, uh, if the exhibit or uh, means a photograph is in a very less uh, number but if we have the photograph in a good number then we can e easily reach to the that uh, uh, parameters so that parameters can be easily achieved when we get the uh, less time interval short time interval photographs and similar expression similar expression like uh, as i said a smile is uh, teeth uh, Uh, is another parameter which can be taken for the identification so uh, we have also developed on the uh, we have also developed one uh, uh, our manual for the working of the photo facial uh, identification in our laboratory how we do uh, examination so we take a morphological features like a uh, different shapes of uh, a head uh, triangular oval round uh, diamond shape square heart then uh, we different type of forehead like a broad forehead narrow forehead straight forehead or a curved forehead m shaped forehead sharp forehead and uh, a fuji mount uh, shaped forehead then different uh, type of forehead like a plump rounded so these are the category and different eyebrow shape as a s shape or the hard angle or the soft angle straight rounded and we have considered uh, this uh, by the forensic uh, Uh, like facial identification scientific working group manual also different kind of uh, eyes uh, shapes of the eyes like almond eyes round eyes and uh, like uh, oval eyed eyes and the protruding downturned upturned so close set eyes wide set eyes and color of the eyes but uh, it's uh, play a very less uh, role because uh, this due to the distortion in the photograph uh, camera which is big uh then uh, different shape of the nose droopy snow roman so these are the uh, somato uh, scopic features like anthroscopic features morphological features which we see into the photograph apart from the anthropometry so uh, so these are the uh, different uh, shapes of the leaves uh, uh, which is used for the individual to individual it's very from individual to individual and on that basis uh, seeing the symmetry or the asymmetry between the lips or uh, size and shape and the other things of the lip a uh, different shape uh, of the ear also we take uh, shape like either is in a square shape or in a pointed ear or a narrow ear or a sticking uh, round ear pre ear lobes or attached ear lobes or the broad lobes so here uh, structure is a uh, straight sleek flat wave curly so these are the another parameters color not playing very important role so these are the anthro uh, like uh, anthro uh, scopic uh, features which we are taking for the examination and apart from the anthro scopic features we take uh, some landmarks uh, uh, for the anthropometry features like anezuan nethion uh, and other features and on all these parameters on all these landmarks we uh, develop some measurement like a uh, uh, like a physiognomic uh, facial index uh, and uh, this uh, index by calculating the facial height and the uh, uh, breadth of the zygomatic arch and then the morphological facial index uh, morphological upper facial index upper facial index so these are the few indices which uh, we use uh, during the examination uh, of the photographs so uh, these are the few uh, these are the indexes which is uh, 
uh, helpful in uh, reach to the conclusion either the photograph is of the same individual or uh, other individual so uh, like this uh, we mark the uh, photographs like a facial uh, how you can calculate the facial eye so uh, these two landmarks use how you can use the this lens so these two landmarks is how you can calculate the nose uh, nose length or the face length so these are the landmarks which is used for identification into the two photographs this we have developed in our laboratory and uh, we are using this uh, and we have done the analysis on the several uh, photographs then we reached to the conclusion that yes these landmarks can be used to the uh, for the identification but it's uh, def definitely is uh, uh, depend upon the how good photographs we are receiving and how many all parameters how, how all parameters we are getting for the examination then a uh, secondary identifier like a uh, cut mark mole or the beauty marks uh, scars due to the surgery and other things so identification of the photograph if available this photograph into the record and do, after the accident or after the surgery if we gave this kind of photographs then it's very difficult to reach a conclusion uh, on a uh, like uh, anthroscopic features and also on the basis of anthropometric features uh, anthropometric uh, measurements so uh, these are the accidental damages and uh, or uh, any high injury uh, and a photograph in a particularly in the dvi cases uh, when any person's photograph is not clearly visible then it's very difficult to reach to the conclusion uh, on just on the basis of photograph or the facial features then uh, uh, we uh, take the beard and uh, uh, features then makeup and uh, type of makeup uh, uh, temporary makeup semi permanent makeup uh, so lips before so these are the parameter which we use for the and uh, this is the uh, uh, dental uh, measurement also useful for the identification for this better emilio can explain uh, how this is important and by this we do the uh, identification uh, of a uh, photograph and uh, we uh, measure uh, we do the anthropometric measurement like uh, uh, maximum facial height uh, maximum facial width and uh, then the uh, uh, maximum face height, maximum face width, uh, maximum eye line, nasal line. So these are uh, measurement of the um, uh, photographs parameters. And on this basis, we uh, uh, calculate the indices. And by calculating the indices, we reach to the conclusion. And uh, by having the anthroscopic features like a face shape, forehead, comparing from the exhibit and the uh, which we are getting into the uh, uh, like question and the uh, photograph and the admitted photographs so on this basis we reach to the conclusion that either individual is same or the two different individuals so uh, this is uh, uh, all i uh, like uh, want to tell about the photo facial identification which we are using i'm just uh, uh, allowing you all to you can type your question so there is a question from the poonam uh, so i'm just unmuting the poonam yes poonam is there any software you used for the comparison? Uh, see, there are several software available for the comparison, like uh, triangulation technique, which we are using. But yes, we are using that uh, uh, through the uh, like um, uh, manual uh, measurement we are using, and we are using this tool. Uh, you can see my screen, a tool decimizer, and I'm just opening the decimizer. And this, in this decimizer, once you open any photograph. We can uh, easily uh, measure the uh, individual faces, and uh, if uh, uh, let me check if there is some more class I can open here. Yeah. So if we uh, want to measure uh, measure anything here, so we can uh, uh, like uh, we can uh, do a measurement from here, and uh, if you just want to measure this distance from this place to this place, so uh, on the uh, okay. You can here you can find the, uh, the uh, uh, measurement size, and by that we reach to the conclusion that it's the same individual or not. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, you can unmute yourself. Mute yourself. Okay. Uh, Ujjwal, yes, Ujjwal. Sir, my question is that that sunken eyes play any uh, play any role, a kind of role in the uh, photo features. Can you be louder? Does sunken eyes play a role uh -huh. in the photo uh, photographical features? Yes, I explained that uh, different kind of shape of the eyes, different kind of prevalence in the eyes. So these are the parameters 
which is useful for the identification. So I'm going to take the question from the chat. Uh, um, okay, uh, Herman is asking uh, CMYK and RBG analysis is uh, uh, matter. Yes, it matter depend upon the uh, photographs which we receive either. Uh, uh, if you are going to match with the uh, color, then uh, it is only uh, important. Otherwise, it is not very important. And uh, Shweta Sharma, uh, Dr. Shweta Sharma, she wants to ask if the photograph in a question does not have the same position. So it's very difficult to reach a final conclusion, uh, madam. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, if uh, for that uh, we ask for more and more exhibit, and if there is only one or two uh, photograph available, then uh, we cannot reach to any final conclusion. Uh, Goria sir uh, wants to ask uh, something. Goria sir, uh, let me unmute you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, very nice presentation, Dr. Ranjit Singh. I learned uh, many new things. So I was just wondering that uh, in spectroscopy and uh, what's our uh, somatoscopy and uh, somatoanthroscopy. So how you are giving your opinion? Part A and Part B of the question is. Uh, during court evidences, uh, during cross examination, you must have uh, faced so many cross examination. And in your experience, what was the most embarrassing questions that, which have been asked uh, during cross examination when you have given evidence for this and which have stimulated you to go for the more research and more experience and made you to think over that how the quick I could have done better? Uh, sir, first, uh, I like to uh, tell you once we receive a photograph for such kind of opinion, so we ask for the if there is not uh, adequate, uh, like not sufficient number of the photograph for the comparison. So we do not give a opinion and we say that the, we cannot reach to a final conclusion and we can we used to give a probable opinion, which is helpful for the uh, insurance company for deciding their claims, either they want to play a, a pay a, a claims or not. For uh, second question, your uh, answer that we know will dispute and other things. Uh, the most embarrassing question they ask uh, that photograph you have compared is a three centimeter in height, but actual individual they do not have the three centimeter uh, three centimeter of face length. So face length is around six to seven centimeter. So it's an ignorance of the advocate that uh, once we say that it's a, a enlarged version, they said no, no, no. Tell me either it's an actual for size photograph or not. So these kind of uh, uh, unreliable uh, questions uh, uh, generally we face into court of law, and definitely uh, it's challengeable. Uh, it's a challengeable. It's always uh, giving opinion on the photo facial uh, uh, identification is challengeable. So we avoid to give opinion if we are not having a good number of photographs for the comparison uh, as a definite opinion. But for the probable opinion, if there are some secondary identifier or a few unique asymmetrical parameters or some unique uh, uh, like uh, anthroscopic parameters we find then like there is a cut mark or the scar mark and uh, if there is a very less gap between the two, two photographs then we reach to the we give a probable opinion to the insurance company that yes these two uh, person are the same or these two person are the different and we used to give the opinion uh, basically uh, what kind of fraud we are receiving into the from the insurance industry that a photo morphing, a photo face swapping uh, we are receiving. We are receiving uh, cases uh, where the similarity between the father and the son photograph is present, and they present a uh, father photograph instead of son photograph. So it's depend upon case to case, sir. But it's uh, not a very easy uh, task to give opinion in every case. Thank you very much, Dr. Ranjit. Thank you, sir. Uh, Pooja, Madam, uh, Dr. Pooja Puri asked a question. Can you please throw some light uh, comparison of the twins? Yes, it's very uh, like uh, 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 in a twins, we compare first the anthropometric uh, uh, measurement. And if you're not getting a result uh, and the uh, percentage is more than the difference of the percentage is more than the 5%, then we uh, uh, ask for some other photograph, different postures, and we go for the secondary identifier. Like if there are some moles present, uh, if there are some uh, uh, difference into the hair lines, uh, if there are some uh, difference into the asymmetry of the lips, asymmetry of the nose. So we give uh, 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 probable opinion on these cases. And if uh, in some uh, twins, we find a very uh, prominent features where we give the definite opinion, yes, uh, these are the two twins, but having a different parameters. So uh, is, uh, 
is there any scoring in the somatometry which can make any easy in a facial edge design? I think I've shown the, uh, uh, all the indices calculation. Uh, how can we practically do this? If anyone wants to learn, that uh, you are welcome. And uh, Shweta Sarma, as question number two, is there a huge number of parameters? So, so much. Uh, maximum, like, uh, see, as uh, you ask in a fingerprint, we have the eight, uh, six to eight parameters. And it was decided into the meeting in 1973 by the uh, National, I think, NCRB National Crime Report Bureau. But uh, for photofacial uh, parameters, uh, the uh, facial identification scientific working group they uh, they uh, suggest that we can take a maximum parameters and which is uh, which can give a more prominent report uh, result. We cannot reach to a, uh, we cannot give opinion on only one parameters like if there is only one parameters matching or not matching. So taking 18 parameters of the anthroscopy uh, and the anthropometry, all parameters of the all calculation of the anthropometry, then we uh, can give the opinion, but there is no fixed parameter as per my knowledge. How long somatography is going to be process identify a person? It's a tidy job, madam, and uh, it depends upon the how many cases, uh, how many things we are doing. Is there any specific software? So there is a software uh, uh, for the for uh, the work but uh, it's not giving a very prominent result so we have to do the uh, verification through the software and the manual measurement also this morphing software is commonly used to see the progression in the age face app and there are several applications so uh, available uh, into the market and uh, are you able to detect uh, colored contact lenses used in the changed color of yes it is possible to detect uh, different layers we can find uh, in that. So, sir, uh, any reference book on the topic? I'll, uh, Parul, I'll send the books. I have few parameters and I'll uh, send to all the participants. Uh, what parameter can be considered for the facial identification if the individual face has been distorted? Uh, Aditya, it's very difficult to uh, consider the on a, in one parameters, but yes. Uh, just on the basis of uh, facial, uh, just on the basis of ac accidental cases, we require the history of accident also to give any opinion or give any our view to the agencies either uh, when uh, accident took place. But uh, on the photo facial identification is a challenge, as I already mentioned in my uh, uh, slides. Dr. Hardy wants, sir, uh, it is possible to identify person with neurometry who is undergo plastic surgery. It's very difficult. So. Uh, Parul sir, give some uh, light on the 3D facial reconstruction process. Uh, I am not the expert of the 3D facial reconstruction uh, process expert. So uh, Parul, definitely, uh, he, if you are in the group, uh, Dr. Aman uh, sir is a more prominent person who can answer this question. And uh, and then then can anyone compare with the body loan system of can we compare with the body loan system of identification? Yes, we are using uh, in a few many parameters of the Bartillon system is used uh, into the anthropometry. How much percentage of comparison needed in a questions standard photographs? Uh, if difference is less than, uh, is difference is more than 10%, then uh, we reach to the conclusion that they are the not uh, uh, they are not uh, of the same individual. What uh, Rohan? Uh, as I shown you the uh, this uh, uh, this. Uh, comparison parameters. So these all comparison parameters we explain into our report, and uh, this is uh, uh, like uh, uh, we explain with along with the uh, case number and uh, all the statics which you which we calculate uh, and uh, all these uh, uh, anthroscopic uh, parameters which we considered, and then we reach right a content. So I'll share uh, one as I have your number. I'll share the uh, format of the report how we present our report into the. Board. Uh, Pooja madam, what is the range of uh, variation acceptable in case of twins? Uh, Ma'am, uh, even the uh, forensic uh, uh, like facial identification scientific group, they have not decided any variation acceptable in the twins. So I think I have answered the maximum question. So, uh, thank you everyone for attending to this session. Tomorrow we have a panel discussion at the same time. And uh, uh, we all four panelists available uh, for your questions.